My name's Ethan, if this is your first time watching. If it isn't, welcome back. So, it's around 3 o'clock today. It is July the 4th. So, happy Independence Day to all the Americans that are watching. I think around 75% of the people that watch are American. As for me, I'm Canadian. Our day was July the 1st, but... Yeah. So, this video is all about what we do when our cows get hot outside so you can see we're bringing the cows in most of them have already ventured over there we've gotten a lot of rain lately so the pasture's got a little more mud in it than usual but yeah so we're gonna bring the cows inside cows get heat stress really easy if you didn't know around 20 degrees celsius they start to feel it so we bring them in, put them in our barn, and then have a bunch of fans. I'll show you our ventilation system that we got going in there. So let's get these cows inside. I said I'd do a walkthrough, so here we go. So barn entrance. I'll just show you in the way it makes sense to me. It's pretty loud with the fans running, but the fans, we got the brand new fan with just installed running so you can see I always find this interesting if you watch the propellers you can see them because my phone camera is recording at I don't know how many frames per second 48 or 60 so I think that fan spins at no, I forget I think around 5,000 rpm so our barns tunnel ventilated so four fans, they're on auto, but we can also flip them to on. It's all the same. So, 84.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, that's what it is in here. Outside, I believe it was... I'll have to look. I'll check right now, and then I'll let you know. I just looked. It's just over, a touch over 86 degrees Fahrenheit outside, or 30 degrees Celsius. But the feel like it's 32 degrees um, Celsius, which is what around 90 Fahrenheit. So, yeah, whatever this is in Celsius, it would be a little less than 30. I don't know the calculation off the top of my head, but yeah. So this barn's tunnel ventilated, but we also run it off of a bunch of basket fans. So we got a basket fan over there. <clears throat> fan over there another one over there over there and over there so yeah some of the cows are a little bit dirtier like this one it's just because we've gotten so much rain but some of them are a little bit cleaner too all depends so inside the barn now we've resulted to putting shavings on the stalls Helps with mastitis and keeps them a little cleaner. Keeps it dry in here. So, we are currently milking 66 cows in a 62 stall barn. So, that's why we have that pen at the back. We have four cows in there because when we let them in early, we don't like to let them double up. This is Daisy over here. She's hot right now, you can see. Cows are like dogs, they don't sweat. This is Aaliyah over here and Amelia down here. So these are our box stall cows. That's a fresh heifer right there. So, yeah. We got our oldest cow, Dorothy, right over here. She is, what, 12 or 13 years old this year now? Born in 2011, I believe, so that would make her 12. So, yeah. Anyway, these are them big tunnel fans I was showing you off the switches. Once again, they're spinning really, really fast, but the um, camera, because of the frames per second it shoots at, makes them look like they're hardly spinning. So, yeah, we got two fans that do, that pull air in and two fans that pull air out. 
This is our first day running them this year. You can see this fan's got a shaky motor. But they move a lot of air. Like, you guys might be able to hear it, but for perspective, you can see my hair moves. I don't know how else to show it to you. Like, I could take the main, you can watch it. Well, it's sucking in this one. So this is a out fan. This one's an in fan. Oh, maybe not. Anyway, I'm not a pro. But yeah. So, this fan's making some noise. I had to look after that. But, yeah. I don't generally show a lot of stuff in the dairy barn because it does get dirty in here. Yeah. But at the same time, where there's cows, there'll be manure. And we do try our best to clean like the shavings on the stalls. But yeah, some cows are cleaner than others. Like you can see these two cows here are clean versus Meyer over here. Well. Myra gets a little dirtier. So, yeah. But, we use tunnel ventilation, like I said. It's an older barn. Well, I say older. Older is a relative term, I guess. This part of the barn here was built in 2004, which was quite a few years ago. Like, there's definitely new and better ways of doing things, but this is how we chose to do it. So the whole idea behind this tunnel ventilation is we set all these clear view windows. They're a little dirty right now. But we set all the clear view windows and it creates almost a vacuum effect. It pulls air through the barn and moves it around. When we're not using the tunnel ventilation, we let all these windows down. There's five windows we let them down and then it's natural air plus them five no six fans at the front of the barn which I showed you I pointed out yesterday I went along and I power washed these walls here so, yeah more recently I bought a foam cannon it's just running done dish soap in here but it does a nice job of helping things get cleaned up so over here, this is the fifth window. We put this window in the summer. I went from grade school to high school. So four years ago, the cinder block wall here, similar to what's on that side, we knocked it out, put clear view in, a whole lot brighter. Makes the place look nice and when you roll down the windows, it um, lets a lot of air in. Yeah, these basket fans here move a lot of air too. You can see my air is blowing again. I don't really know how to show you that, other than that's how they work. But, yeah. Anyway, we gotta do some more cleanup work in the barn. I gotta clean mangers, but cows just come in here to get milk during the summer. It's, or if it's hot out like today, and they go outside to eat and to sleep. So. Yeah, but I don't know if there's much else to say for this video. That's kind of the walkthrough of our barn. I thought I had a little more to say or explain, but pretty much we run tunnel ventilation when it gets hot. Shut the windows, turn the four big fans on, and it creates a really nice breeze. Yeah, I don't know why, but it looks like that fan's turning a whole lot faster than them fans are, but maybe it's just perspective or something. So, Rapunzel, she's a 2E excellent cow, I think. Gwen, she's the granddaughter out of our first excellent cow. But yeah. 
Anyhow, that's our dairy barn walkthrough, I guess, of how we ventilate it. It's changed, it's an older barn, but it works. Gets the job done. Fans move a lot of air. So, yeah. With that, I think I'm going to end the video here. So, thanks for watching. This video will be a scheduled upload. It'll probably come out this week, Thursday or Friday. Uh, this week, Thursday and Friday, I'll be gone off the farm. It'll be... I've pretty much fed cows this whole year up to now. Like, out of half the year that's passed, I've only missed one feeding. Because I was at a 4 8 so and that wasn't a 4 8 so but I was at a dairy so So I'm going to another dairy so called East End Talons. So I'll be there. And, yeah. So I'll miss a few more feedings, but, anyhow. Thanks for watching. God bless.